yeah, I think if you isolate the game, I, I, I fully believe the team could win. I knew the game would be really difficult, but I fully believe the team could win. But of course, in the back of your mind, you have the run that we've been on and the results that we've had. And I think the frustration has came from the last three games we've played really well. Really, really cheap goals in the New England game. Missed chances in the Cincinnati game and then a poor goal in the Charlotte game. And then the end of the game where we take the game to them and we just don't create an opportunity. So I could feel the locker room before the game. I felt that there was a real drive and a real hunger. Um, and I was just so happy for the guys because the the work that they've put in and the, the the way that they've responded week in, week out. You know, as a coach, you go into the locker room and you try and use words to move them on to the next game and one thing I never ever felt was that they were the, the team was coming apart or that um, they were checking out a little bit there was always belief and hunger there and the training was the same but at the same time it's one win we have to be, we have to also understand that we have a huge game in, in two days Coach just to piggyback a little bit off of that uh, you talked a lot about focus and everything like that you know Alex's goal four minutes in you know, obviously it was exactly what you needed at that moment before the thoughts of frustration started to kick in. Talk a little bit about how it felt on the sidelines, the reaction, and was there additional relief or just boosted confidence? I think I've been here now. <laughs> I've been here now two and a half years, and we always seem to get a little bit of magic in this building. Really early goals and moments where we roll teams over. And... um he in particular, Alex Kyens, has been he's been so good this year and, and getting him back and his energy and just just the way that he, this presence in the team, it doesn't surprise me that in a moment where we needed him, he pops up and, you know, you see that same moment in Atlanta, the game here against Atlanta last year in the playoffs. Um, it, it was relief, but at the same time, as a coach, you also have to focus on the game because in every moment, especially early moments, I think as the coach, you think, of course, it's a, a real positive moment and it's a springboard. But at the same time, you go one up early and you lose. You take 10 steps backwards. So you have to you have to keep, think logically in the moment and you have to stick to the game plan and coach the game how you see it and think about substitutions. You can't get carried away that you score so early you feel you're going to win. Eh, sí, eh, fue bueno ver el gol marcado por Collins eh, al inicio del juego, después de tantas frustración, frustraciones, etc. Eh, ¿Qué tal la reacción? Bueno, eh, estoy aquí hace dos años y medio aproximadamente y marcar goles en los primeros momentos es sumamente importante. Principalmente él estuvo muy bien, eh, su presencia en el equipo es sumamente importante, transmite energía está en un buen momento. Por un lado, es un alivio haber anotado ese gol al principio del juego, pero como técnico principal, uno debe enfocarse en el resto del juego. Uno puede, uno puede marcar o anotar goles en los primeros momentos y después tienes que seguir dirigiendo porque de pronto puedes perder el resto del partido. Hey Nick, congratulations um, on the win. T uh, bit of a two-parter. One, um you know the the celebration at the at the podium and and lifting a trophy and the champagne and uh, surely that doesn't get old. It's the, you know the second time you've experienced it now. What uh, what was that feeling like? And and two maybe this is a to be seen kind of thing. But you mentioned this match and 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 the different competition hopefully being a springboard here down the stretch of the season. From what you saw over these ninety minutes, do you think that could happen here, starting with Red Bulls on uh, on Saturday? <laughs> That feeling never ever gets old. It's my ninth trophy for for this organization. Um, eight as a head coach, once as uh, oh, seven as a head coach, and two as an assistant. Um, it never ever gets old. It's the reason why we do the job. It's the reason why you know. I, I, I there's a moment there when the players lift the trophy, and of course, we do this job to create winning teams. But when I look at the podium and I see a guy like Kevin O'Toole celebrating with our team, made his. MLS debut or made his debut professional debut today um, and had an, in an incredible game for a guy that has never played at this level um, it just reinforces why we do the job um, I know this team is special and, and I know every coach says that but when when I see a team that goes through many games and wins many games in the early parts of the season and 
continues to work at the level that it works and continues to be hungry to be better and then goes through a period of losing so many games with a with a coach that was the assistant and an interim coach and, 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 and all of the things that's been thrown at this team, major injuries, suspensions to guys. Um, we lost our captain, our goalkeeper for this game. And I, I think for me, it's, it's, it's an opportunity to be a springboard. But we also had a really big win against Chicago away and had a moment on the pitch after that and, and then, you know, lost games. So we just have to obviously enjoy this because it's a big moment for us. It's another trophy for our for our football club. But at the same time, the Red Bull game will be incredibly difficult. I think both teams are, are pushing for position. We obviously haven't had many wins in the MLS. And I also think our performance at Red Bull Arena earlier in the season will hugely motivate them. Bueno, vimos la celebración de todo el equipo en el podio al recibir el trofeo con el champán y todo eso. ¿Qué puede decirnos sobre lo que sintió en este juego y también en la competencia tan difícil como ha sido hasta el momento? Eh, bueno, el trofeo como eh, técnico asistente, claro que es muy importante. Por eso es que uno trabaja. Uno trabaja con equipos eh, vencedores y al final acaba celebrando con esos equipos, con los clubes, con la MLS. Este equipo ha jugado a un altísimo eh, nivel y por eso es que me gusta desempeñar mi trabajo. Conozco uh, bastante bien al equipo. Uno vence varios partidos al principio, tiene sed de mejorar el juego y después acaba perdiendo algunos eh, partidos. Hay problemas de lesiones, suspensiones, etcétera, pero todo eso lo considero como una oportunidad eh, para eh, mejorar. Este momento es muy importante para el club gracias a este nuevo trofeo y además el equipo está buscando mejorar de posición. Hey Nick, congrats. Thank you. So, how do you uh, explain and not sure if you see it this way too. There, there was a certain energy tonight, which you could look back and say, "Well, why was that not there at Charlotte? Why you, you could look at a lot of different games. There, there was something there. Is it the combination of having that back three, those guys solid back, being at Yankee Stadium? You said you kind of felt it before the match. How do you explain it being this one versus maybe some of the others? Listen, I, I think when you say, when I, when I speak, sometimes people take out of context what I say and they build narratives around what I say. I don't say that our squad isn't good enough. I don't say that some of our guys aren't good enough. But when you put really important guys on the pitch that have experience of big football games and, and have real a real level of quality in the way that they see the game and how that they how they play the game and the quality that they bring you get energy in the team and maybe the guys that are playing sometimes and in and out you get a, a, someone like Kevin O'Toole can come in and bring basically what I'm saying is someone like Kevin O'Toole can come in and have a great game when he's got Alexander Cayens behind him and Maxi Morales inside him and then when you put in Maxime Cheneau and Thiago Martins Nico Acevedo is playing really good football at the moment. When you put those guys around them, you know, our, I don't make excuses for our run, but we've missed some really, really important guys. And when you miss two, three, four of those really, really important guys, and then you have to put players in, and I say have to, I don't say that I have to put them in because they're not good enough. I just say, if you look at our squad, the history of our squad, the guys that haven't played so much football, we've when you have to rely on putting all of them in at once, you have to expect a dip in performance. And you know what? I don't say those guys didn't play well because they got all the, they, they took Charlotte all the way to the end of the game. Um, but there also there's an energy with those guys that when you lose nine games and you're in a run where you used to win in, there's a certain level of motivation and a certain level of aggression. And then you put a trophy in front of them as well. Then you, you're speaking to the animals. I don't know. I mean, if you're asking me, you know, I, I'm still volunteer. Is there an update on Eber? 
you know uh, forever? Do you, you know what the extent is? He, he felt his hamstring. He doesn't feel like it's serious. Um, I'm not a medical guy, but if you're asking me to predict, it'll be either not serious or a, or a small grade one. So I don't expect to lose him for more than seven to ten days. But um, I thought he started the game really well. And for what we asked him to do, he was doing it really well. And it's a shame, but, you know, the medical guys will work with him and we'll get him back as quick as possible. Bueno, eh, hola Nick, eh, ¿cómo puede explicar la eh, energía que hubo en el estadio? Como que se sentía algo, quizás por estar jugando en el Yankee Stadium y cómo lo compararías con otros lugares esos juegos. Eh, a veces eh, yo digo cosas y muchos lo sacan del contexto, lo que digo. Lo importante es la calidad del juego y cómo el equipo ha jugado a tan alto nivel. Eso lógicamente irradia eh, energía. Algunos eh, juegan, tienen un desempeño mejor que otros, hemos perdido algunos jugadores importantes y hay que ver su historia. Hay que, es difícil mantener un buen desempeño hasta el final del juego o de la competencia y por eso hay que motivarlos a los jugadores después de la derrota. Después hablaron de la lesión de algún jugador, eh, eh, dice que no es eh, nada grave según el equipo médico, él estará fuera de juego durante 7 o 10 días, pero los médicos me han dicho que se está recuperando bien. Nick, you've alluded to this a little bit um, with the lineup choices to start Luis, to start Kevin. Was this just a situation of other players unavailable, or have you seen things in them that you felt they were ready for this role in this big moment? Um, Luis was in because Luis has trained really, really well and, and he's highly thought of at our football club. Um, I picked him in Red Bull in the Open Cup, and you know I've, I've seen him play last year as the assistant when um, Sean was on international duty and he did really, really well. We won many games with him. So I have no problem with putting Luis in. Sean would have played, but he's just feeling a slight, um, he has like a really uncomfortable, uh, like, s like a graze on his leg. And it's not so bad, but at the same time to roll him out and keep rolling him out. It was an opportunity to put Luis in. Um, Sean's played a hell of a lot of football this year. All of the international breaks, all of the season. Kevin O'Toole has really pushed this year. He's got real technical quality. He's got real physical endurance. Um, I wanted to give him an opportunity over the last two, three, four games, and it just maybe wasn't the right time. And with Red Bull and with the Charlotte game, Malta's played a lot of football. It was a good opportunity to put him in, and I was fully confident he would put the performance in that he did. Maybe not as good as he did, because I thought he was excellent. Um, it's been the nature of our team over the last six, seven, eight games, we've had to spin, the, whether it's been suspensions or injury, I've become really comfortable with rotating and changing the lineup because ultimately it's, it's been out of my hands. So I'm a, I'm a, you know, flipping it, I'm really comfortable with doing it. And maybe sometimes the, the performance dips. The good thing is when you get a great, like Luis, he made two incredible saves tonight, especially at 2-0. They're, they're good saves, but they're really big moments because a team like Atlas go 2-1, es un totally different game. Um, and I thought Kevin was excellent. Bueno, hablan también de eh, las decisiones de Kevin y, y Luis. Dice que Luis ha entrenado eh, muchísimo y que su juego ha ido mejorando. Le he dado oportunidad de jugar en los últimos juegos. Kevin, por su parte, tiene una gran resistencia, una buena preparación física. También le he dado oportunidades en los últimos juegos contra el Red Bull, por ejemplo. En los últimos seis a ocho juegos hemos tenido problemas de lesiones, suspensiones y he tenido que eh, hacer rotación de muchos eh, jugadores. Luis eh, ha hecho un buen juego. Let's go with the last question. Hey Nick, uh, congrats on the win. Um, Thank you. Against the Red Bulls, uh, we, you talked about the Derby coming up. Uh, actually, the head coach of the Red Bulls was present at this game and uh, last week he was quoted saying he's, he guaranteed a win. Uh, against uh, NYCFC at Yankee Stadium this week. Uh, what do you say to that, and does that motivate the club? I wish soccer was so simple, huh? <laughs> but he's obviously confident. I, I, listen, I expect it, and I expect it because um, arguably the greatest ever performance of an NYCFC team against a Red Bull team in the, the last defeat. I think... Listen, when you lose derbies, it's hard. I think for him, when he, lo when he lost the way that he lost, I think that's difficult. So they will have incredible motivation to make sure that we don't play the football that we played at, at, in their home and win the way that we won. 
Con respecto al juego de contra Red Bull, el técnico ha dicho que garantiza la victoria. ¿Qué puede decirle al equipo para motivarlo? Bueno, es algo que se esperaba. Cuando uno pierde como eh, se perdió, eso sucede y lo podemos tomar como argumento para motivar al equipo. One, one thing I will say is it was the per it was the perfect like warm up game tonight for Red Bull because the direct balls and you know they're just like smashing it from back to front and getting after it. It was you know it was a perfect warm up game.